Come back to it. Do do on YouTube. It's like the white rack say hi to Christopher. He's doing really well. It's getting old now. Um, he's um, peeing sometimes when we don't want him to. It's going to be a bit of a pain. But uh, we still love him. Apart from when he eats grass like he's doing now. Young man, you're not supposed to be eating grass. I'll see you guys in a minute. Morning YouTube. Um, so I guess the first thing I want to say is 19 subscribers. I'm pretty stoked. I'm uh, very thankful actually that I've got 19 subscribers. That, um, do, creeping up, creeping up. Thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you so much. Um, you know, Christopher, Michael, Lee, Toby, my nephew. It's one of them. If you're watching, shout out to you. Keeping it real for the gingers. Um, and I, I, you know, I'm going to try to make this a quick video because I realise how much I ramble. When I finish a video and see how long it is, I just think, fucking heck, if I can't stand this out my own voice, imagine what I'm putting you through. Okay, so the uh, first thing I want to say is the quartering. About the quartering. I want to officially christen him an elder of the internet, just because he's like, <laughs> he's like, he motivates people to action. Um, he did it with Trillium, and now he's done it with a Holiday Inn guy, um, um, whatever his name is. Ah, that's christen him Holiday Inn guy, because that's a pretty cool name actually. Um, but. Um, yeah, so flipping egg, it, it just like he's there, isn't it? All he needs now is a stick, a staff, and a robe, and animals, uh, birds to come, land on his shoulders, snakes. Well, he might already have one, he'd have to ask his wife. Um, but you know, snakes to wrap around him, foxes, and lions, and lambs to sit at his feet and learn from his wisdom. He's already got the big bushy beard. Um, so, um, so I want to say, Jeremy, you're doing an awesome job. I like it. Man. That's why I like YouTube. You just, uh, you, you know, spreading positivity. I like it. Um, to be honest, I, I did think should that guy be in a job anyway? If he, you know, if he was fragile, if he's fragile, it looks like he was pretty fragile. I don't know that customer would be in hell and abuse him, but um, I just thought to myself, you know, it, if he's that fragile, is it is it wise to put him in a job like that? Or make him do that? Sure, there's something else he can do where we don't have to deal with the public, because as that, uh, is it Tariq? I've forgotten his last name. Um, so wonderfully demonstrated the public can be little darlings um, also um, I wanted to say about um, boys apologising apologising for being boys uh, a couple of weeks back there was a school in Australia if you don't know uh, but you probably do that made all the boys in the school, I think it was school, stand up and apologise for being boys. And it's tied to this, I think, rape culture or something, or this flipping how men treat women. But I just want to say, like, as someone who has struggled with all his life, figuring out who they are, I want to say to the person who that decision was, screw you. 
Um, not that they're going to be watching this, but screw you. Because if if you're making someone apologise in the formative years for who they are, they're not going to know who they are. I just want to say, I felt, you know, that's a proper cause. People not knowing who they are, people not knowing who they are, people not knowing what the role, what the function is in life. That's the cause of suicide, male suicide. And I really hope that doesn't cause any mental health issues, especially to that degree. But if it does, I want you to, if it does happen to any of them guys who you may stand up and apologise, I want you to think maybe I had parts play that. Because that's what you're doing. You're messing, you're messing up people. Right? And if, uh, and if, what would you say about transgender people? You know, you probably do first to babble on about how they have the right to exist, how they have the right to this, how they... But the boys at your school don't. It makes me really angry. You've got no right teaching. You've got no right teaching. Anyway. On to a lighter note. Some things that's not made me angry. But Rose McGowan... Um, you know, started saying about uh, Democrats um, and how they um, um, the part of a deep cult. And, and to be fair, you know, she she was talking about the deep left. She also mentioned the deep right, which I think is fair enough. I think I think that mentality exists on both sides. But she was talking about Democrats. She was saying like, um, you know, like. The, they don't believe in themselves, they don't have their own thoughts, they just follow this think that's all pervasive, this ideology. And as someone who, who wouldn't identify as Democrat, if I was American I'd probably identify as Republican. Um, actually, I, I, um, I think above that, I identify as son of God, son of God but like most closely with Republican. Um, I think um, when I think about the issue with the left and the right, how I see it is the left you have to agree with the think, the right you don't. This is how I see it. If, if you're on the right, then the, the ideology is we can agree to disagree about certain things, but we can get along. We can find common ground. We can we can um, we can help each other out still. You know, like like the quartering, you know, does. Um, you know, and he wants to do that, and that's fantastic. You know, like it doesn't necessarily mean he, he agrees with that with with the guy who is struggling, suffering, doesn't agree with that. It, it may not agree with him, um, but he wants to help him, and that that's. Uh, that's that's a great thing. I really agree with Rose McGowan, what she was saying. Um I I loved it. And I thought she was speaking to us and she had her haters. And what she said was um she said something, she said, you know, just listen to what you think organically. Not to what you're being told. And she had a lot of detractors, a lot of critics. But like you can't argue with that. That's not, that's not politically motivated opinion, that's fact. When we do that, we get somewhere. When we do that, we can find out who we are a bit more about ourselves. And that's really helpful. So, uh, yeah, I really agree with what Rose McGowan said. I think, I think she's awesome. And coming from someone who was in a cult, um, like she was the Children of God cult, which I've read about before, very interesting. Um, there's a couple of documentaries that 
go and check them out. Um, but um, I think we should listen to her, and I think you should open your mind. Um, also, I might be in with the show at that job. I thought I'd missed out on it, but I might be in with the show. Um, I've been I've been down in the dumps about it. Um, but there was a little ray of hope this morning, so if I get it, I'll let you know straight away. All right, well, thanks for listening. Um, it's nice to talk to you. It's nice to be listened to. Keep well, keep safe, and God bless.